Yeah, it's a great time for you to do your, uh, what was that? Sit around the camp's fire and share backstories thing you kept talking about, Elvin? Roll for initiative. Yeah. You stepped up the sandstone dies as you approached the user of the mango tree. His, his dark robes flowed around him menacingly as he looked at you with his golden eyes. You got a 22? Okay, then. Yin got a 7. What does everyone else get? Uh, what do I have to do? You go into your character's page and under proficiency bonuses, next to your armor class, there is a button that says initiative. Just push that. Okay. 18. And then, what do you got? It's loading. You have to read the page. Did you not already have the page? One. <laughs> What's your modifier? Uh, zero. God, your character's fat. Okay. You haven't picked on a party name. So, because he doesn't have a name, I'm just gonna call him Shuriken. Sorry, did I just see the name Atachi? His name is Shuriken. I'm gonna call him Shuriken for now. <laughs> At least I know I'm not going last. That's all that matters. Can I anybody, mean, I... like, tell me what happened? That led up to this. Okay, uh, so basically, a mango shuriken uh, appeared in the sky, then some dude appeared in a flash of light who was basically a walking sponsor for a map, and then we fought a bunch of undead warriors, well, he took out all of them, and then he fought against uh, basically a skeleton guy in magic sentient armor. And he couldn't beat him because he would not stop announcing his attacks before doing them. And I hated him. And then he left. Because he was so insulted by me. Um, and then we killed that stupid dude. And now Pan Pan is wearing his armor like an idiot. And so in order to and get Yin the armor onto Pan Pan, um, Yin went and used some necromancy to reanimate the armor, which was made out of... Uh human skeleton bones. It's made of human bones, but it was forged into um, a boots and a helmet. So Yin reanimated the boots, and also reanimated the helmet, so that they would have conscious, and then they could stretch and bend to, uh, like, form to Pan Pan's big feet. After this, uh, somebody was insulted. After this, so, um, the Mango Shuriken came down, blasted down some light, to make some sandstone, because you were in the desert. And above this, and in the sandstone uh, column, floating above it was a dude who had appeared. You all kind of gathered in a circle around him and assumed battle stances. And, I mean, that's where the last session had ended, and so now I'm going to say roll for... So that now I said roll for initiative, and we found it. Elvin is first... I think you're forgetting the most important part. Elvin and Rail made meat angels and meat snowman, and Elvin ate part of the stupid flesh... Go Is that one more time? I kind of disconnected. Oh... Uh, and you guys right. took all the dead bodies that were sticking together and reforming, and you made, and you treated it like snow, and you ate a piece of it. Because everyone in this party apparently likes to eat things from random enemies! That is, that is <laughs> a thing that my character would do. <laughs> Definitely.
Also came to my attention, I have the knife. You do. So, right. Elvin, it's your turn first. How do you attack uh, this man? Give me one second, I'll see what I can do. He's humanoid, right? Yes. I'm gonna cast Charm Person. Wait, do I reset my uh, slots? Do we take like a rest or anything? Uh, no. Not hey, really. no more spell slots. Elbing. And how are you going so to I cast... So you said you're cast charm person. Well, is that, is that a save? Is that a, is an attack roll? How how does it work? Um, it's a charisma save. Yeah. Sixteen. Beat it by one. Haha. <laughs> Does anything happen on a success? Um. Let's see who's next. Is that one of those spells where you can't be charmed by that spell or that well that person again for twenty four hours? Most charming spells have that if you fail. Oh, wait, hang on. Um I th I'm pretty sure that I um it says when you cast a spell using spell slot of second level or higher. No, I'm not on level three, so never mind. Do not have a second. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I thought that I could attempt to do it one more time. Are you sure that's also not how it works? I'm pretty sure you can just uh, additionally choose another person when you're casting it on a heart. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Well, no harm in trying. Oh, well, somebody way, else. I got no, not charisma. Sorry, I confused it with a different spell. It was a wisdom. Who's next? I'm guessing it was Rail, yeah. since they got in like an 18. Yeah. Rail. Is is this guy at stabbing distance? No, he's about 20 feet in the air. Uh, all right, let's see. I mean, okay, like there's like a there's like a four foot tall sandstone platform, and then he's floating really high above it. It reminds you of uh, Yahiko. Right. You know what? Do an okay, Yin. Do an investigation check. Eleven. You're pretty sure that this is one of Yahiko's like, 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 fellow gangsters. <laughs> like, like one of his coworkers. The, like like the same adventuring party or you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying yeah ah uh, yes of course how can I forget the animal department of Yahiko okay <laughs> Wait, this is gonna be much better than I. <laughs> Oh, do you have like a crossbow or like throwing knives? Rail. Yeah, doesn't don't uh, rogues have I, a crossbow? Pretty sure that rogues have a crossbow. I I have a short bow. I don't know how to use bows. <laughs> Why do you have a short bow if you don't know how to use a bow? 
What that I, even as option? a player, don't, don't know the mechanics. <laughs> did, did, how, what? Why is it an just option? It's a weapon that you need to get, like, ammo for. Yeah, I'm confused. Why is it an option for you to be able to get a short bow if you can't use a short bow? I think the actual character knows how to use a short bow, but the player, which is Copper, doesn't know how short bows actually work. Is, is that correct? No. <laughs> that, that is correct. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> good. What was that? I was good. Good. <laughs> Open door, <laughs> Nord. Open door, like the rest of us. <laughs> what just happened? Oh, that, that that's much better. <laughs> mm. Do you know how long that works? Rael, do you know- do, Copper. Hey, Copper, do you know how the longbow works? No. <laughs> do you know how a bow in general works? No. <laughs> oh. It's like a long-range knife. <laughs> do you understand how a slingshot works? No. Do you understand how throwing something works? Yes, I'm confused. How do you how do you not know how any of these things work? Have you never been hunting? Have you never hunted for anything? Uh -uh. Yeah, have you never killed something with just your bare hands? Come on, what is wrong like, with you? You're telling me that you're like what? You're like like 19, maybe 20 and you haven't killed anything? I'm 18, actually. I feel like everybody has killed a bug. I mean, I mean the thing is, I haven't been hunting because I mean I haven't been hunting because it's against my values to kill. But I know how to in case I ever need to. Quick question, quick question, Copper. Uh, why do you need to know how a bow works to click a button on your character sheet to see how well Rail does? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. I also wondered that. I, I'm not, I'm not using that. I'm using my physical uh, die and stuff. Do you know? Like I, I do you, do, do you, do you know? Um, do you know what die it is? And do you know what the modifier for your attack roll is? I think the bow is a dexterity modifier, if I'm correct. We we'll just do that and add your dexterity okay. modifier. Uh, yeah, because uh, in my character sheet, I in my character sheet, I don't have uh, the the like Alexa. Um, how do you use the bow in D and D? This is what I found on Bo's Wikipedia page. Ship's bow should be designed to enable the hull to pass efficiently. Wrong through. website. Bow shapes vary according to the <laughs> Alexa, stop. I like the implication that Rail just has a ship that they're throwing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alexa, what'd you roll? You use the short bow in D&D. &D. Something I found on the web. According to GuildWars2.com, what it's worth, Shortbow is amazing for tagging mobs during events. She confuses me. They're your dexterity modifier, plus whatever you rolled for a ranged attack. By the way, OK Google has been more helpful than your stupid Alexa, Elvin. Excuse me? Get wrecked, scrub.
rescue. And rescue filthy casual. It reminds me of the fact that we totally just skirted over the fact that me and Elbin send each other characters death threats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, I'm gonna cut your tail off as soon as we get done with this battle. I'm going to maul you as a bear, mama's boy. Ha ha ha! Ha I tried to do a cringy laugh, but I can't do a cringy laugh. I just Not if I shoot your arms. What does my tiefling arms have to do with my bear arms? If I shoot your arms, no matter what, it's gonna affect your arms if you change. Not true. Shoot I've pink. looked quite extensively into wild shape. The forms have nothing, like, nothing to do with each other. If I break my legs as like a bear and I transform back, I'm gonna have my legs like. Do you have a uh, hole uh, in your stomach before. as in your tiefling body? It won't yes. be in your body if you're as a bear. Be in, like, we'll find that. Uh, it's hey, like if I'm at like five Elvin. HP, then I transform to a bear. I will not be at five HP. I'll be at whatever the HP of the bear form. Has. Elvin. Cool. I know this exactly property applies what I'll to him. Do. I'll... This property does not apply to you, Elvin. If you have a reduced to low HP and you try to go into your enhanced state, you will still be at low HP. Okay? You don't get extra HP from your enhanced state like he does. Are, is that clear? Like, if you lose an arm, you don't just grow an arm when you're in your enhanced state. This only applies to Yin. Okay? Because I'm actually taking a different, like, form. I'm transforming into a different creature entirely. You're just enhancing yourself. Okay. How no, about I just that's not charm why. and that's give you not, a sickle that... and command you to cut off your own tail? I have a pretty high wisdom bonus. I think I'll be fine. And besides, do you think my character has the means to cut off his own tail? For joking. If I just convince you to do it. How would I ever? You think a dagger is going to be enough to t cut off a seven-foot <laughs> tail? I'll convince you that you ha that you have tiefling tail disease. <laughs> you know, my character's whole thing is that he can heal, right? My character can just heal that. <laughs> and un it's an unhealable disease. So it's when are you the Okay, why are we arguing about beyond. this in the middle of the game? In about three really sessions. You know, if you're gonna do that, Elvin, you're gonna have to do it quick. This is foreshadowing. So, Rael, uh, is not here. So, uh, Rael... I'm gonna make an attack with, like, a short bow and just tell us the results and we'll Yeah, they're that. still going to. Uh, do I have Rael's character sheet? No, I don't. Now they have a plus four. Just that, now, now they have a plus four because I feel like it. They roll a natural twenty. Let's roll for damage. They got a six out of their one die six. So they got a twelve? No, they got a twenty six. They rolled twenty six damage. Ah! Hey, quick question. How does your crit system work? So, um when you roll a uh okay, so when you roll a natural twenty you roll, you take the, you take, you roll your dice plus your modifier, right? Let's, let's say that's one die six plus four. If you roll a three on the dice, that's three plus four. Let's just say four. That's seven. Seven times two is fourteen. Um, on a, now for rogues, this only applies to rogues, but when rogues get a critical hit, their sneak attack bonus also applies because... I just feel like it's cooler that way. She also oh, rolled okay. a six on the critical hit. Yeah, also, the two times that you got hit for way more damage than you should have been hit by in fights before, that's what happened. They both had levels in Rogue, and they just happened to roll the critical hits both times and high damage on their dice. 
I didn't balance it for them to kill you in one shot. They just happened to roll well. <laughs> I, like, I want you to know that. I, like, <laughs> I do want you to know that. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. They I am rolled, incredibly they, unlucky. Yeah, I just both figured. times they rolled max damage, and that's why you were killed in one hit. Like, it's not... It's not... <laughs> yeah, it's just... That's just what happened. Anyway, uh, that's 26 damage. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's more health than this guy has. <laughs> yes! Anyway. So! <laughs> well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um. So, Royal hits him right in the eye. It hits right in the eye. Of which he is. He, um. Ah, he grasps at his eye. And you can see it bleeding, a golden, this golden ichor, as his, as the rest of his eyes open. You can see that he has five in total. One of them is bleeding profusely, but the other four are looking at Rael with Is this great some Donzo, we have to kick, take out all the eyes situation? Um, the he they look they glare with great contempt at Rael, but he declares, "Oh oh oh, Furo! Oh ha ha ha!" Well, he's laughing and he's still like twenty feet up the air. I'd like to collect the uh, the blood that's dripping down and like it soaks into, into his robes. You, it's not dripping. <sighs> Of everything. You are too strong. <laughs> you should not be able to do that. <laughs> ah, yes. Alright. You may be too strong for where you are now. But I can defeat you at some point. Just not today. I have to fix my eye first. As for that, for them. <laughs> yeah. I'll come back when you're All this is happening. What? Say it, Elvin. What? Um, uh, while this is happening, can I tie a rope around the handle of my, um, of my sickle? Yes. Alright, and when it's done, I want to throw it at Yin and try to, like, um, get the rope around him and catch him. About how far away from Elvin am I? I don't know. How far away do you want to be? Maximum 15 I mean, feet, minimum 5 feet. Between, it's between 5 and 15. 15 feet, 15 feet. 15 feet. I'd rather be 15 feet away. Isn't that like 50 feet rope? Yeah. Yeah, but you're trying to boomerang a sickle, so... Boomerang a sickle? Well, I could just throw it. What? Could just throw the rope, um, um, throw the sickle at an angle. And then whenever wait, the rope hits you, you um, boomerang a Why are we trying to wait? What, what is boomeranging a sickle? He's trying to with tie it? me up with a sickle and a rope by throwing it at me. He's trying to boomerang it so the sickle will tie it all around my. <laughs> well, I mean, I like how like totally not in game. I I like how totally in game though. Thing that's happened between us is I revived him and healed him, and now all of a sudden he wants to kill me. <laughs> you shouldn't have. Um, you shouldn't have an animated skeleton. Elvin, you shouldn't have done that. Have that a skeleton. Roll a die twenty to see if you succeed. There's no modifier because. It's a twenty. What do you say? It's a twenty. Yeah, that succeeds. I try and dodge it? No. Nine. Well, you said you rolled a 20. 
No, I rolled a nine. I asked, so I just roll a d20. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yes, a nine. Yen, what's your armor class? What is Yen armor Hive, what is Yen armor class? <laughs> oh. Yes, that misses. Can I try again? I step on the rope as he's trying to reel it back, because I'm not letting him throw it again at me. I'll just pull it hard. Strength Can save. I roll? <laughs> Yen, strength save. To not get knocked over. That's a nine. What he roll? Yeah, I think yeah that that nine fails. What's his strength? It's not a it's not save versus their strength. It's a save versus their spell DC because this is a magical attack. How is him pulling a rope a magical attack? I don't know. It just is. I just I feel like making it a magical attack. That's why. It's because I feel like it. I want to try to throw the rope around him again. Die 20. Alright. Was I knocked Nine again. Uh, would me being, like, tripped by a rope mean my character is knocked prone? No, you're flat-footed, which is a minus two to AC. However, a nine is lower than a ten, which is your AC right now, and so yeah, it still fails. Great, I'm just great, gonna great. charge him. Me and my just nice gonna run at him and attack him. I shoot him with my gun the second he tries it again. <laughs> like, come on. Die twenty. <laughs> For the reason that you're startled, you can't really aim well. Die twenty. No modifiers, again. A lot of these things are just not having modifiers because... Eh. You know, you can't really aim all that well, because you're startled. I rolled 20. You ro wait, what'd you say? I rolled a d20 regularly, because I'm... Because you said I was startled, so yeah. I rolled a straight d20. It's a natural 20. Roll for damage. That is eight damage before whatever your critical enhanced system. Eight damage before, and now it's sixteen. Yeah. Hey, right. what's your what's your uh, health, Alvin? Nineteen. You just got riddled. <laughs> Like how unprompted this whole civil war is happening where we're just attacking each other and no one is doing anything to stop it. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I like how Rael is just like, I like how Rael is just like water bending a herring right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Rael can control a fish now. <laughs> just one fish and it can, and it can fly. But, but, yeah, she can control a fish now. <laughs> There's not fat, a fat fish. And she's waterbending. <laughs> Great. Alright, so this is where I pull out my hands one. and just start to shoot him. Okay, so... Does <laughs> Elbert suffer any uh, negative effects for having more than half of his uh, total health taken in one round? Oh, wait, no. No, it no, I will not shoot him. I will cast... What's it called? Form of Dread. I cast Form of Dread. Okay. Then I punch him. Do. Uh... It turns... Hang on. A bonus... Action, you transform for one minute. You gain the following benefits when transformed. You gain temporary hit points equal to 1d10 plus 2. 
once during each of your turns you hit a creature with an attack, it makes a D a D C fifteen wisdom saving throw. If the saving throw fails, it is frightened of you until the end of your next turn. You are immune to the frightened condition, but I'm already immune to the frightened condition. Great, roll to attack me. Alright. What do I well, roll? Like, is, that, is casting that an action or a bonus action? Bonus action. Okay. What do I roll? For attack? You? Wouldn't it be asking the DM? Oh. Yeah, I was asking the DM. What do I roll to attack him? I mean, wait. So what do you say? You're, you said you're you said you're attacking with a melee attack. So I assume that would be a melee. Yeah. Control. Melee attack. Yeah, just the punches. Yeah, the melee attack. Oh wait, no. I have to. I have to describe my um magical girl transformation. <laughs> so um, like. Thin pieces of cloth come all over me, and then a golden crown forms on top of my head, and two ethereal fists form above my shoulders. Like, big ones above my body. And that's it. You have a golden, holy-looking crown, and you still wonder why Yin thinks you're a paladin. Not a paladin. No, that you've never explained that to him. Alright, I'll tell you. I'm, I'm not a paladin. Yin. You don't know Yin thinks you're a paladin. He <laughs> has never once brought it up to you before. It is true. They haven't. Alright, just let Silently me punch him. Silently judging you while already. I'm telling you to your face. Just let me punch him already. <laughs> what do I roll to attack? What do you usually roll in that form? I don't know. Doesn't say. Well, I don't know how a fiend of the undying. I don't know, not a, a warlock of the undying works. I don't know how they work. <laughs> melee attack. Oh, I. I know it's a melee attack, but I don't know. Does it add your spellcasting modifier or not? I don't think so. I guess I'll just hit him with a... I'll just hit him with an... Let me read it one more time. I don't think so, though. Okay, no, I just hit him with any attack, and it makes a um, DC 15 wisdom saving throw. So I'm gonna shoot you with Eldritch Blast and wisdom saving throw. Okay. By the way, at any time, feel free to, crew, feel free to intervene on the newcomer who joined our group, like, less than a few days ago, who was in an evil Eldritch Whale who is attacking your captain for no reason whatsoever. Feel free to intervene when necessary. When it gets to my morals. I think that Rael is having not too much you, fun. Like, once. I think that Rael is having too much fun playing with his pet herring. And Pan Pan sees this and chooses to do nothing. God. So I rolled a Pan Pan is entertained it. by the herring. Rolled a twenty-five to hit with the Eldritch Blast. Oh yeah, this time, this time you choose not to eat the thing in front of you and focus. Wow. <laughs> eat the only thing that you can control with your. Brain waves. Okay, great. Uh, what's the damage on the Eldritch Blast? Six. Okay. Okay. Make the I wisdom throw. Okay. Oh. I got twelve. Great. Minus six damage. So I approach you. Frightened of me. Frightened so I can't approach you. Unless 
Fury has some other rules for the frightened condition. I just can't approach you. Now I'm going to run at you and try to, to cut off you. I'm frightened of you. I just can't approach you. I can still attack you. I'm going to shoot you with my gun. Dodge every single one of your bullets. Every single one of your pumpkin bullets. Okay. Sure you are. Sure you are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, quick question. 16 hit? Uh, yes. So 16 open? Yeah. Okay, then. You take... Nine more damage. I'm dead. Did you roll? Yeah, yeah, you are. Did you roll the d ten? Did, did you roll the d ten plus what was it two for your? Wait, no, I did bonus? not, because I thought that it'd just be a one end fight. Give me you one second. Disregard how. <laughs> much Give me one you second. Just to die specifically to you. Also, as my bonus action, I would like oh. to call out. Hell? So how much damage? How much damage did you do? I did nine damage to you. What did you roll for your extra health? Um, twelve. I got twelve extra health, so I have fifteen health at the moment. You rolled a ten plus two. Okay. Yeah. And now I have six health. I'm gonna Great. back away well, and just just gonna back away and do the thing with my fingers and his eyes and just uh-huh. like watch it. Uh-huh. cut off your tail eventually and hang it up as a trophy, a trophy Great. to show my kid. Great. That was a good match, again. Uh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Totally an exhibition yeah. match. Great, great, great. I'm gonna take a rest, because I'm tired, and I want spell slots back. I will take a rest as well. I'm maintaining a nice, safe distance of about 20 feet away from Elvin. <laughs> Um, do I take a long or short rest? Can I take a long rest? What time of day is it? What time of day is it? Um. Let's see. What time of day is it? That's a good question. I would also like to go over to Pan Pan and Rail and ask them why they did not intervene once when Elbin was attacking their captain. Like, what? It's 4 p.m. Yeah, I'm going to take a long rest. Is... You take a long rest yet? Is Yin going to let Elbin take a long rest? Yeah, you're right. That would never happen. Uh, let's see. Ominous whispers the entire time while he's trying to take a long rest. Elvin doesn't sleep until Yin sleeps. I'm just making sure that Elvin is not getting the upper hand when Elvin has been known to attempt to murder me out of the blue for no reason. Uh, there was a reason. Thunderstorms! Smell of a skunk, bunch of ominous sounds, whispers in his ears the entire time he's awake. Because I can do that. Alright, I'm going to walk over to Yin very slowly with my hands up so he knows I'm not trying to do anything suspicious. Get right in front of his face, clap him, and then walk away. I know nothing about your suspiciousness, and Yin, you are going to... So you are going to see these ominous whispers, these thunderstorm happening around you, and you see that, and you know that there's this very hard, menacing aura, that, so that you know that all of this great feats of power is caused by Yin, and yet you're going to walk up and slap him. 
Yes. <laughs> okay, great. I'd like to no. think that Elvin... Does Elvin turn around at that point? Sure. A uh, quick question. Does a V14 hit? My armor class is 14, so I'm going to say no. It does hit. You have to it roll does hit? the armor class or above. Yeah. That's how it works. Um. You get hit in the back of the head by my tail. It's an unarmed strike, so it does zero damage. But still, it is completely fun. <laughs> you, you said that you were 20 feet away. And you said you walked up to me to slap me. Oh, yeah, you're right. Wait, um, can I use... N never mind, I'm done. I don't want to. I was going to say, <laughs> can I um quickly turn around and grab any... your tail? But no, I'm not going to do that. Legitimately, okay, let me tell you something. You had the most advantages possible and you still couldn't kill me. I can even heal after this, by the way. Just I can just free heal after this. Some circle of dreams. <laughs> you were not going to kill me. I'm just not powerful oh. enough. What is Pan Pan and Rail doing while me and Elvin are sorting out our differences of him trying to murder me unprovoked? It was very much provoked. How? You, you resurrected a skeleton. Your, your mother is a lich. Her... Not... She didn't want to be a lich. It's true. That's so, do you see me turning anyone into undead. liches? No, it's, the it's, it's true. Her mother very, yeah, the, the them mother very much wants to be dead. And the... <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah, that was not a fun time, getting to be a lich. No. Mm, no. She was a good person in her life, and then there was this oh. necromancer that she trusted, and then when she died, he I resurrected her. Necromancer. I did not like this. Um, it, she she killed him, and uh, and uh, she's entrusted me to kill all unwanted undead and necromancers that don't ask for consent. It went paladin, and second off, you have not expressed this will to my character at all. Yes, I have, have multiple times. You've essentially attacked my character unprovoked. You have not given a reason for attacking my character. That's what I makes it provoked. I have that told help? you this. Yes, but we all know that Yin does not listen. Sorry, uh, Real and Pan uh, Pan, you guys do whatever you think. Well, I'd reach out. Real, you knew and you did nothing. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're not talking in the actual voice channel, or you just ignore your connection's probably <laughs> bad? By the way, how did we already devolve into infighting when we haven't even picked a party name? Open to suggestions, frankly. I was trying to think of one that went along with your family name. None of you know my last, my character's actual last name, or even his real last, or even his last name, Furvish. You don't know anything about that. <laughs> uh. I'm thinking, since everyone in this party is playing guy characters, the, we ourselves do the annoying at the starting points. Annoying sons of bleeps. 
Nah. Yin can't brag to his family with a name like that. Come on. <laughs> I'm just thinking about him bragging to his family. <laughs> Wait, who would want to brag about our team? Exactly. You're disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> the disappointing son of sons of bleeps. Yin was like Yin was in the freaking navy. He knows what a good crew is, and you guys are like the exact opposite. <laughs> I'm pretty sure pretty sure Pam is the most is capable not... here. What? Is the most capable um on our team. Yin. Huh. I mean uh, I was asking Yin. Other oh. than himself. Other than myself? Since he knows, since he knows um, uh, what a good crew is. Probably Riel, since the most they have actual skills that, that would be required him. for running a ship. It's true. They I have do. skills. Well, yes, what skills do you have, mom's yes, boy? <laughs> the thing is, yes, you have skills, but, but you see Yin specified useful skills. Uh, I can be any person I want. And why do you choose to be this? Yes, I've wondered that too. I mean... I meant... <laughs> You're being mean to Elvin? Elvin tried to cut off my tail, like, multiple times. I can be as mean as to Elvin as I want. Um, I use this guy's self and, um, and turn into, um, Yin. Ah, uh, that's more like it. You actually turn into someone useful. Hey, uh, Elvin, you can also do talk to animal. Elvin, do a charisma save. Okay. 25. Wait, no, wrong, wrong. I was about to say, what's your modifier? <laughs> uh, seven for the saves and, um, five for the, um, just regular, um, You are lagging a bit, but you have a plus seven on saves, which, okay, it seems fair, but plus five? Yeah, five I have a plus one. Um, I have a 20 for charisma. I would not have known that whatsoever. <laughs> I'm a oh, people person. That seems about right for a warlock. Um, I can talk to animals. Why did I need to do a charisma save? So wait, what do you get on your save? Last of... Oh, um... 22. Alright, that succeeds. Why did I need to well, do that, though? Going on, I'm gonna go over to the, the town and tell them of our good deeds of protecting their small village. Let's get a little bit of recognition. I'm gonna go get drunk in a bar. There is no bar. We have described this town like five times. If there's not like a town hall, there is not a bar. Yeah. There's no bar. Is there... Does there anybody is, like, have a... Waiting a you can go check alcohol? there. There's a what? There was like one trading post. You can go check there. I'll go see if they have alcohol there. Also, they might not have alcohol, considering the fact that, as far as I know, we had to go on a mission to get them water. Doesn't mean they don't have food. They can just, um, turn food into alcohol.
Uh, I'm gonna go uh, to the trading booth now. Oh uh, well. They have quite a few things. You can see a. Uh, what do they have. Well, they have a uh, some special keys that uh gives you that uh, they have some special keys. It help gives you some uh. Because of some resistance to certain kinds of damage, they have a a table, which it has a certain chance to inflict either confusion or astonishment on any who look at the table. Uh, there's um there's a certain pickaxe that will break anything that you that you want it to, but it can only break one cubic meter of it, and it breaks it all at once. You can break one cubic meter, but that's all you can break with this certain pick. There's also a um a small, uh, little Pac-Man looking thing. It's, um, that you can, I mean, it's, uh, it's edible. The person who's selling it does not know what it does, but they know it's edible. And, finally, there's a very big hat that is always sticking up straight, and it looks like one of those Christmas elf hats. And it apparently gives you and in a plus three to Christmas spirit. That is what is for sale. <laughs> hey, describe the person at the at the forefront that I'm talking to that's telling me the stuff that I have that and I can buy. Still look like me, by the way. What do you say? Hive. Oh, does Elbin still look like Yin, by the way? Do they? Elbin, do you uh, look like Yin? Yeah, because it lasts an hour, and I didn't take it off. Well, they look like a, uh... Mm. They look smart. Can I con them? They look smart. They look, they if, do. Um, it's, um, looks like a kind of, he's short. No, no, you know, uh, no, he's, uh, he's a bit short. He's, like, less than five feet tall. With He has rough black skin with, like, pale white hair and, like, emerald eyes. Elvin is more of a danger to Nyin than I realized. Alright, I'm gonna use, um, a prestidigitation and, um... Do a auto odor around the corner of like something burning, something noticeable that you'd want to go check out, so I can steal all of his stuff. He goes to check it out. All right, I'm gonna take it all. You can't. every every. All. You you can't. Can't. Well, okay. No, no. What are you gonna take? Um. Hang on. Tell me all the items again. I'll take the hat and um the Pac-Man. The hat. There's the other stuff. The you well, how much gold do you have? None. That's you, why I want to steal it all. Cannot, I have no money. You can't move anything. You can't even touch any of them. Why not? You have no gold. You have no money. You, you can't even touch them. I can't even touch them. Yeah, you can't even touch them. You have no money. The guy's not looking at me. Well, I, I can't just take it. There's. I'm sorry. Do you want to steal magic stuff? <laughs> yeah, they're all magic items. You can't touch them. They, they, you don't have money to buy them, and so you can't even touch them because it, it's enchanted. Just because you look like me doesn't mean you're as rich as me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how about I, um. I speak both Elvish and Celestial to the items and say, Come with me, I'll give you a better home. Do a charisma do save. Like do, do a charisma save. Nine. The hat goes and slaps you with its pom-pom. You take two psychic damage. 
two psychic damage from it slapping you. No, I have the helmet boinker, but you just got boinked by a helmet. <laughs> Give it to me, though. Oh, yeah, oh it did, did understand me. Alright, I'm gonna say... I bet that hat is a big one. Why don't you guys come with me, and I'm talking to everything else. I promise I'll give you a better home, and I'm gonna try to convince... I'm gonna try to persuade inanimate objects to come with me. Can I do that? They do not Because obvious, it's... The table... I can't roll like for choice. The table sits like a table. Alright, I'll speak in, um, Abyssal. There is no difference. Can I roll? There's nothing that I can grab? You have spoken to a hat, a table, and a rock. What do you think they're gonna do? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna call the man back. He doesn't come back. He's still dealing, he's still trying to figure out what's burning. In the background, you just hear my voice, which is booming three times louder, me telling the citizens that they're safe now. I, we have dealt with the threat. <laughs> Every... Yin, many people are, are trying to ask Yin how they can be safe when there is a demon in their trading post. Don't worry, I'll go deal with it. I'm sure it's nothing. I'm gonna turn it. Well, um, okay. uh, some people call it. Some people this call it complete. a demon. Some people call it a witch. But in any case, they think that it's bad news. What a horrid uh, sounding would... abomination! I must deal with this at once. <laughs> I was gonna. I was honestly Hold planning on. to. I turn like to ask the that, villagers um, to please go find our paladin and learn him of the demon's presence. And then I will walk over to the trading. Alright, um, I'm gonna turn it to the shopkeep. I didn't hear any of that, but I was planning on doing it before any of that was said. The shopkeep and try to talk to the, um... To he the, said he put a fire the... smell around the corner. Can I see both the real shopkeep trying to deal with this and the other shopkeep in the... I mean, if you walk behind the store, you can see the one shopkeep trying to deal with the fire, and he's the one you see first, because you walk, you walk around it, try to look at all the exits, and you see the guy trying to deal with it behind the store. He's just kind of looking around, trying to figure out what's burning. Walk over to the guy trying to deal with the fire and say, what's wrong? I heard there was some sort of... Oh. Oh, mamma mia. Something is burning. Don't worry. I can instantly extinguish all fires. Trust me, if there was something burning, I would have extinguished it. Perform an investigation. Did, wait, what's your passive investigation, Hive? Yen? What's, what's Yen's passive investigation? Eleven. They detect that, the face lo that this man's face looks a bit familiar. They can't- they don't know where it's from, but he looks familiar. Question, do you own any pets or mounts at all? Yes. I have a beautiful horse. <laughs> He's very beautiful. Very, very, Can very I long, very long horse. He's question. a beautiful horse. But please. If you had to recommend, say, any games to play, what game would you recommend? Oh, I suggest you play, uh, Idle Heroes. <laughs> it is free from the app. Store. AFK Arena. <laughs> Just use code IH777 and it will get you very far in the game. Very good code. Oh my very god. Good. 
Are you and your stupid horse and your terrible game back? Um, do my clothes change? Uh, and I, yeah. um... Alright, I'm gonna take my sickle and, um, like... Like, just cut up all of the clothes. Or it still covers me, but it would be unrecognizable if... It, um, the, compared to the real clothes. Okay. Cast the sky south of him, correct? Yeah, I did. So he and is now the that... clothes of the stupid merchant. Yeah, I'm the merchant, but with torn clothes. I have an idea for whenever you find me. Um, and I know in... I'm just sorry, I'm dealing with, with an actual threat right now. Anyway. Uh, where's the demon? I was called to deal with the demon. Jerry, where is the demon? I was told I would deal with the demon and all that wait, here you is... Asking, wait, okay, you're asking the DM or you're asking, I'm asking ask the shopkeep? I'm asking the stupid dude looking <laughs> at a uh, non-existent fire. Oh, oh mamma mia. We have a fire and there's a demon. Oh mamma mia. Where I'll get to the bottom of this. I go back the way I came over to the townspeople. I say, well, it's obvious what happened. The demon clearly, the demon clearly turned into a shopkeep. I'm unaware of Elvin's presence at this point, and he's just hunched behind there, looking for a non-existent fire to try and draw away your attention. I think at this point, the only clear thing to do is to form a mob and actually kill him. <laughs> this is working out nicely for me. I have no idea where or who you are. I'm focusing only the, on the shopkeeper I hate. The by this time, there. the the townsfolk see Elbin at this point, and they one man points out and says, "There's the demon." No, 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 no! I'm gonna say no. The demon's over there. I mean, he he attacked me and then turned into me. Not without a Sam, Italian accent. That's just, just what keep a her demon having would Italian say. Accent. That's just what the demon would say. Boo! 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 That's just what the demon would say. I walk over to Pan Pan. Pan Pan, can you make, like, I don't know, a hanging booth or a giant stick surrounded <laughs> by little things for a nice fire? We have a demon on our hands. And despite popular belief, I believe burning them to death will work. Alright, I'm gonna walk over to, um, Yin and, like, can I, um, undisguise myself halfway? Uh, the yeah. deer has taken only... the of our power then. oh no! The, the, <laughs> the people on the street, they observe it. One, the same guy from earlier claims that the demon is transforming. He calls out, we can see you, demon. He call he tells the demon that we know. can see you. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna say all his quotes in the third person, because I don't feel like doing a voice. <laughs> um, yeah, then I'll person. just blow... <laughs> I'll just go I like around just at the looking person. at Ian and then pointing to the shopkeeper and going, "There's the demon, get him!" <laughs> like Ian, who completely just looks like a demon, is just going up to a random dude, accusing him of being a demon, and they're all just going, "Yeah, that's right." <laughs> oh, fine. I understand myself and. And um, and say I'm not a demon. He's a demon, and point at the guy I was 
I was um in point at Yin because he's an actual demon, and I was looking at Yin. And if the shopkeeper takes a good look at Yin, he'll know that that was the person at his um. My at noble his bird door. means that people think I belong there, and they'll do their best to accommodate me. So this is not going to work oh, all, very wait, well for you. Actually, hang on. Hang on, if it, if we're going by that right now, well, give me one second. One second. People right. think the best of me, and I am welcome in high society, and people assume I have the right to be wherever I am. I am. You have what people think have started a fire and against a local business person who runs the only trading outpost there is. And now you're changing form, like, come on, they think you're the demon. Additionally, Yen has the protection of, he said, he was, there There was a fire, and then, then Elben, in Yin's form, prompted the man to check on the fire. And then the guy also saw Yin come behind to also help him with the fire. Come behind the store to help him with the I'm fire. I'm gonna... Like, um, yeah, you know, you've only it. done good things my... while pretending to be me, and then you've done all the terrible things pretending to be someone else. Like, yeah, it, yeah, that is. <laughs> this is um, not with my... Being the haunted one, um, um, people should take up arms, um, with me and help me. Isn't that only if you've not proven to be a threat to them? Yeah, but I'm. I have not proven to be have I hurt any of them. Have I done anything to hurt any of them? Yes, but people think you're a demon, so they think you are a threat to them. The shopkeep thinks that somebody I'm gonna, started a I'm fire, gonna... and because you're the one changing forms and you've been labeled a demon, the shopkeep's probably going to think that you're the one who started a fire because he knows there's a fire, but he doesn't know who started it, and he's probably going to assume it's you. Look how I'm going to tell the shopkeep. Get rid of me, the, uh, look at the no. person that you're taking. Look at the person that you are taking arms with. Does it look familiar? Like, maybe the person you were just talking to at your store? Are you trying to mention that the person who told them that there might be a fire, and then the person who looked the exact same, came behind back, to try and help him extinguish said fire, is the demon? <laughs> yeah, why, yeah. I mean, if the demon like... wanted to cause destruction, he would. He wouldn't come help to stop the destruction. Like, so far, you've just made me look like an average firefighter. <laughs> maybe it's like... Maybe it's like hero bombers. <laughs> um, maybe he set off the fire on purpose, then went off to go help. And Pan, have you finished building the execution chamber? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna run. Wait, did I recover any spell slots, like any at all? No, you didn't. Did I let you rest? No. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna run. While jumping and shooting prestigious around it propels me. Real, you're faster than me. Go get him. I'm I'm L L Bean right now. Roman attacking me and we're our buddies. I'm not sure you're faster than a rogue, but you can try. Braille is in the background doing nothing. You know, I have a plan that makes me look great and could actually save Alden, so this is going to be fun. I would like to know if they know this is Alden. Wouldn't that be like an intelligence check or something? Uh. Hmm. 
intelligence check. Uh, or like investigation or perception to distinguish whether or not this is Elbin or a demon who just took Elbin's form. Yeah, let's do a intelligence check to determine that. Is it for everyone or just for rail? Just for rail. I guess it wouldn't really matter for Yin either way. Stop running and turn around and walk into the execution chain on purpose. Um, you're a little <laughs> laggy for me. Uh, laggy for anyone else. I'm gonna walk into the ex execution chamber on purpose. Real quick, is Elbin lagging for anyone else, or is it just me? It's laughing. Okay, now I can't hear Elvin at all. Can you hear me now? There we go. Alright. I will, will stop running, turn around, and walk in, into the execution chamber for purpose. I know something that will save and, my and life. build it? Yes. Finally doing something useful. You walk into I the mean, execution chamber. It was not. Uh, all right, so I, I'm going to tell all the villagers. I'll use prestidigitation and put the handcuffs on me and go to them. Like, yeah, yeah, I did that. Give me a second. Tell the Okay, I think I fixed it. I was just lagging a bit. Alright. Um, and I'm going to tell all the villagers that I propose a test to prove that I am LB and good. A paladin. Okay. A if you're really Elbin, our paladin, faithful. then smite over there. Give me one second, and I'll do that. One so second. wait, okay. So how I get you... down on my knees and pray. Give me one second. I know exactly what to do. Um, Alexa, play Dory May. Would no. Yin's passive? Yeah. Would Yin's passive like insight or like in? If investigation don't, or don't perception. Play Alexa, song. Oh, don't if play you it. play Dory May, then I will mute you. Alexa, stop it. I do not want to get demonetized. <laughs> get m money in this? He streams the games, dude. Yeah. You forget that. Yeah, if I play. Dory May was is apparently copyrighted, and if and it got me demonetized. So yeah, I don't want that to happen again. Okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah, don't. I'm gonna ask. Are y'all having a good time? I'm having, I'm having a, a good great time. time. <laughs> so oh yeah. So I'm I'm going to, um. Pan Pan in. Gonna get on my knees. Ask my God. Yeah. Um, mom, please, please. Lightning down on the ground. I don't want to die here. Not here. Not Would today. You you're not a demon. You're going to ask the help of a lich? They won't know it's a lich. This is going better than I hoped for. So, are you gonna try to get just, your? Uh, 
Are you gonna try to get your mom to like to like come down there and like stand over there and like help you out? But like like to come down there to to you. I'm there. just it's, it's stay hidden, eating her turkey sandwiches. And um just put some light in. Make it rain. Make a thunderstorm. People a good harvest or something. Do anything. I don't want to die. I mean, I had a plan for you if you just kept running, but you decided to give up. I did not give up. I had a plan. And it's working out nicely, I hope. Chamber. I'm pretty sure that was giving up. <laughs> no, not if I had a secret plan. So, does a cheat cause some lightning, slash rain, slash fertile land, and slash good harvest? Either... Am I the only one this is lacking for, or am oh, I no, just lagging? Oh no, I see it too. There's a, um... Okay. There's a, uh... Some kind of undead thing comes out, crawls out of the ground nearby. He's summoning servants! <laughs> And it comes, yeah, it walks to, yeah. This undead creature begins to walk toward, uh, Elbin. It has two, it has its ha one hand raised with two, with, with its two fingers up. These two fingers are in front of its mouth as it groans and walks toward you. Its other hand is at its side. Sure, your mother can do some necromancy. Just but, from oh, my mother. Is it, does it. Is this supposed to be from my mother? You don't know. <laughs> oh no, I do know because she would not. wouldn't do that. So no, it's not. If it was, I was gonna be so angry. <laughs> You don't know whether or not she didn't say anything. She didn't speak. Ba she didn't speak to you. You did your prayer, and then. Well, I know this that she wouldn't do that. If you I know that she would not do that, then it would said. have gone poorly for you. Also, what are you going you to asked do? Asked me to summon lightning. I asked. You I just to want her to ground. summon lightning. I asked you to smite the ground. Elvin. What are you going smite to do? Smite the ground. It is. The zombie is about is about twenty feet away from you. What you need to do something. Pull out my pick and rail as a hostage. Hey, hey. Oh, I did not know that. Elvin. Let Elvin be. I have no idea what's going on. Let 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 let's listen to Elvin. What are you gonna do? You do it with my crossbow. Roll to attack. Alright. Twelve. That hits. You hit the I'll zombie right in the chest. Yeah, I'm gonna keep narrating though. You hit the zombie in the chest with an arrow. Lightning comes a small bolt of divine energy arcs down from the heavens to strike this zombie as it burns with divine light. Yeah, Act, sorry, what no happened? Idea what was that? You has no idea what that was. This doesn't know what a real smite what looks happened? like. Oh, uh, the zombie got smited as soon as you shot it with an arrow, but yeah, Yin doesn't know what an actual smite looks like. Do you call that a smite? No, I call your Eldritch Blast a, sm a smite, because I don't know what an actual smite is. Yeah. But then I'll just shoot it. You being in a paladin, based on your actual warlock spells, because Yin doesn't know the difference. You shot the zombie with an arrow, and an arcing bolt of divine light came down from the sky to hit the zombie. The zombie began to burn. Villagers like... wouldn't Yeah. Villagers wouldn't know what a smite is. The villagers 
can see that this was a divine smite. The villagers even have a church? I'll make them a They don't know what a church. divine I'll smite looks like. They don't know what a divine smite looks like. So they assume this is it, because they can tell it's very... divine. <laughs> Godlike. The zombie has been smited, and the light was divine. You put the two together, it's a divine smite. That's... <laughs> okay, okay. This seems... Rather... Seems rather good for you, I guess. So I will say to the villagers... Hold on, I think the demon switched places with our paladin, and I just go free Elden. Alright, as soon as he does that, I'm just gonna give him a punch in the jaw and say thanks and pat him on the shoulder. We're attacking the person who the villagers trust completely as their hero, like totally unprovoked after I'm basically saving your life. One villager speaks up. He knows up. what he oh, did. One of the villagers speaks up. Ah, the demon has used his lightning, and now the demon has punched out a hero. I said, I patted him on the shoulder and said you thanks punch afterwards. You Question, punched him do they also well. think that they now, took Rail Elbin. hostage because Rail is right next to Elbin now? Didn't you, 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 you punched him in the jaw. I know you did that. You ain't hiding from me. <laughs> This has gone so poorly for you in so many different ways, Elvin. <laughs> I would like to say there is only one way to test this, and I would like to put my hand on Elvin's head, and suddenly the sound of lightning, the sound of lightning goes around all throughout like, the village, because I can make the sound of lightning, then just because I don't think they would actually know how to tell the difference, I would like to predict the next 24 hours, because an actual, the next weather for the next 24 hours, because let's be honest, they won't know the difference between me actually checking and me just actually checking the weather, because mm -hmm. either way, a like orb of whatever the weather like an actual image of whatever the weather will be will just appear in my hand so I'm thinking they might buy it you summon you summon this orb that you summon an orb that crackles with lightning as thunder booms around you <laughs> put my hand to Elvin's head and then I will make the or disappear and now make let's see I can make a sensory effect I'll just do a puff of wind and a bunch of leaves falling and then just say and then just say do not worry I've expelled the demon from our paladin's body I'll make sure he'll be much more careful next time ho oh, hooray he has expelled the demon Yes, very happy time. We have our hero. Our hero has expelled the demon. Very happy time. Uh, he, there was he. no vill there was no demon in me villagers, and now I'm gonna run. That's so like they'll attack me. He's, I say as he's running, I say he's probably embarrassed that he failed so much as a paladin that he let himself be taken over by a demon. It's best not to bring it up. It'll only embarrass him further. We do not blame him. It was the demon. We do, he, it is not. It is not this paladin's fault. They, they are do, They are trying. It was the demon. The demon. Just have a nasty. question. Does shop keep blind? Like, not. can he not tell that the person that was at his shop is the person that is con trying to convince everyone? Not the person at his shop. The Being the most helpful <laughs> person ever that alerted him of a fire and then immediately. Tried to help him put out said fire. Yeah, the shop he can see that. I wouldn't find that suspicious. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. That's not suspicious. I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. I just that's just what somebody would do in that situation. Anyway, um, 
<laughs> anyway, as for, uh, I mean, the sh like, the shopkeep was saying these things, because I did the voice. <laughs> I, I mean, if you couldn't tell, it wasn't yeah, him. Yeah, everyone knows. It, it's quite I a distinctive feel like that character. He's, blind. Mm -hmm. he's not blind, he's just an idiot. Wow, well, how, well, how is he an idiot? Uh, T tell me, how is he an idiot, though? I just hate, I just hate the shopkeeper for every reason whatsoever. <laughs> also, I have proof that he's an idiot. He will not stop shouting his attacks before he does them, which led him to fail in defeating one of the most easy enemies I've ever killed. Like, that thing went down like three hits. Please <laughs> accuse him of being the demon. So I say, now that the town is saved, I believe a feast is in order. Or a celebration at the very least. I will call upon gods and ask for a good harvest, I say to the people. Yeah, yeah, your 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 god's given you enough assistance today. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say uh, let us that was a lie. Now rest for the night. Skipping town morning. tomorrow morning. So, um, I mean, the shopkeep brings out the cheese. <laughs> you remember the cheese? Yeah, he brings out the cheese. I remember the cheese. I want the cheese. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he will give it to me since I was the one who. Since I believe he is. He was looking at you, pretending to be me, when I was checking out- when you were checking out the cheese. Well, it's like, I don't know how late it is, this is how- how- It's like, I don't know, it's like 4.30, maybe 5. <laughs> I don't know, it's like 4.30 or 5 here. I mean, like, they're- they're gonna eat some cheese. It's 4.30 uh, for me. No, I don't- it's about in, in- in the world. Yeah, I'll just- In the world. Oh, yeah. In the world? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, it was 4 like, a while ago, and now I'm gonna say it's like 4.30 or 5. I'll just go with 5. It's 5 o'clock now. So, cheese. Yeah, we're gonna need some cheese. <laughs> so, uh... I hate tonight. <coughs> the, uh, tonight, we go and assess the damages, get some light, long rest, and then tomorrow, we will celebrate. How about that? Okay, a skip town. <laughs> Are you I say we skip town. I do not believe that is a wise decision. So, which direction are you going to go in? Well, back um, to our. Do we have like a base? A place where we slept, where you guys slept on the floor, and I slept. Nice and great, because I am used to being in nature. You don't. Okay, you have a base, but your base is the ship, nature. and you have no idea where the ship is. <laughs> what well, what happened to our ship? It we didn't bring it with us when we went with the whale, dude. Yeah. Oh. We don't even know if we're in the same dimension. Y yeah, you don't. <laughs> And none of us has even questioned the villagers to see if they have any sort of history that would align ourselves with our, our own dimension. It's true, yes. Can I can I roll in our can I roll our on it to see if I can feel like the magical energy like different in this world? Roll for Arcana. If it is a different world. Roll for Arcana. What have you rolled? I rolled a 22. This place feels different. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, oh, yeah, yeah. we're in a different world. Is this any more?
Okay, that is a little bit disconcerting. Okay, here, how about this? Stay in the night, get some gear and some supplies in the morning, and then we'll head out to try and find another way out of here. But which but way are you while going we're getting to go? Supply, where are we going? Yeah, where are you going to go? After this. I believe we're gonna, I'm going to start asking around in town, like, after we take a nice... Good rest, and then to see if there's any other settlements around here, or if this is the only one. All right. Um, I'll end the session because I need to go right the next settlement. Does the session end with us sleeping, or because yeah, we're going to ask sleeping. all that stuff tomorrow? You're sleeping. You know, it ends with you sleeping. Okay. Cool. I'm just gonna. You all level up. Feet. Level up? Yes. You Great! Ooh, Looks like right. you pretend to be a demon for like an hour. Finally paid off. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Rael. No. Actually, no, Rael. I do need to explain to you what your... Okay. Okay, first of all, Rael, you don't actually know what your herring does. You know that it has a special power, and you know you can make it swim around. Ryle doesn't know what exactly this herring does. <laughs> but they know it's a special herring. They know it's a magic herring. Yeah. So, so if, like, if it's anything like my fish, I mean, if it's anything like a stupid squid thing, I'll leave you in an hour. So, um... Thank you for watching. Um, please... Uh, audience, don't forget to join me on the um, next episode of this uh, of the uh, Iman Blade Quest. Thank you.